Hello, welcome to the world of Sonia Sophie with all the newspapers that you can get in the area. We are going to scan through them in a moment. First, the Daily Mail. On the cover is the Queen. Don't make a fuss, she says as she is admitted to hospital. And on the front, a very unkind article about her. Queen rushed to hospital with suspected vomiting mark. Why would they do this? This is not very uh, kind, considered a bit rude in England. And I think this is a subtle way of the British media saying it's better to step down by now. Because if you don't, we are going to have more headlines like this with vomiting bugs. Now, why would they want her to step down? Um, it's not because they are interested in chores, I think. This is a little bit of background in the world of Sonia Sophie. I think it is because they are interested in Camilla. Camilla is, of course, the mystery woman in the royal family, a non-royal who managed to keep the attention of Charles for over 40 years and how did she do it? By marrying another man first. That's of course the less known story by now that she married uh, someone uh, before Charles did because she knew that the Queen was not approving of her and Heartbroken as he was, he kept seeing her for 40 years. All right, so this is uh, the queen in the hospital because of this vomiting bug and the Daily Mail. All right, next paper is Boca Scott. An Albanian newspaper that I uh, managed to buy here. Let's have a look at it. What a thought. Um, with a little cartoon in between the two words. The cartoon of a freedom fighter or someone like that. It could be Berisha. Uh, obviously, I don't know too much about this country, but the newspaper has been smuggled in this morning from Tirana together with a dozen of Albanian pimps, I suppose. Well, sorry about this prejudice, but you shouldn't consider this program as a guide for anything, really. Now, if you speak Albanian, please call now. Lines are open say that we can read this newspaper because I don't read Albanian. Okay. There is no one, I'm afraid. <clears throat> All right. So this was Bota Salt, an Albanian newspaper in Italy, where I am at the moment. And why is that? Well, I am an expatriate. My boss wants me to be in countries where I don't speak the language. So as soon as I start speaking the language, he keeps relocating me because he wants me to have a fresh eye at the event. So that's how I stranded in Italy at the moment. And that gives me a lovely chance of reading this newspaper, La Nostra Gazzetta, because I'm trying to jailbreak the language anyway via Russian at this moment. This newspaper comes out in both languages, La Nostra Gazzetta, meaning Nasha Gazzetta, meaning our newspaper. It also says, Quindicinale Italiano in lingua russa. Now, don't think that I speak Italian. I only read it to some extent. And it's also written in Russian, Vihodit Razgetnidili. So you've got two chances to pick up the meaning of it. 
you understand some Italian, some Russian, and then as these both languages complement each other, we are try trying to figure it out what it is all about. Now, on the front, Lena, Lenina, I think she is the grand granddaughter of Vladimir Ilyich Lenin. And we are going to look for this story. Before we get there, another interesting story about gays. The story is the divieto di fare propaganda omosessuale ai minori. Uh, meaning, it's forbidden to make any propaganda for underaged about homosexuality. Is this in Italy or is this in Russia? Well, that's not very clear. But it doesn't really matter. And now we found the grand granddaughter of Lenin, the stunning blonde woman. An article on both pages, unfortunately, it's in Russian. So we will have to skip it as well. And we are up to the glossy. This is a little matured newspaper, the Time magazine from January. Well, the time has got a safe choice here, going for Obama as the person of the year. Second place is for Malala. Now, I don't think that's what you call ground breaking journalism. She should have been on the front, if you ask me. Number three, Tim Cook, CEO of Apple. Now, again, choosing a business person is nothing but boring. And number four is the Egyptian president, Mohamed Morsi. Can you see it? Uh, well, that's all I can tell because I'm not supposed to comment on the Middle East, as you already know. All right, so that's it for this week. The word of Sonia Sophie is now saying goodbye to our viewers. Thank you for joining me and see you next time. Have a good day.